NDTV has met Vikram Buddhi, the PhD student jailed in the US for allegedly posting hate messages against former President Bush on the internet in 2006. This is the first time Vikram is meeting any journalist to tell his side of the story. He was arrested three and a half years ago. His sentencing is due on the 10th of December. He spoke with NDTV's Sarah Jacob in prison. For a man who's just days away from his sentencing, Vikram Buddhi is surprisingly calm. The 38-year-old who has spent the last three and a half years of his life locked up in this federal prison in Chicago says he's filing a petition that the charges against him are false and the trial was unfair. I sat across Vikram Buddhi today in the visitor's room of the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Chicago. A small and unassuming man, I could barely hear him above the din in a room full of inmates meeting their loved ones. Clad in the fluorescent orange prison jumpsuit, Buddhi was soft-spoken but exuded a quiet confidence. He admitted that in the first six months of his imprisonment, he was extremely depressed and had lost all hope but since then had found the inner strength to fight and is determined to prove his innocence. In June 2007, a jury found Vikram, a PhD student of mathematics at Purdue University, guilty of posting online threats against former President George W. Bush. Three and a half years later, he is still to be sentenced. Without a sentence, no appeal can be filed. An Indian national alone in the U.S., Vikram says he's become just a number in the system. His government-appointed lawyer has showed no interest in fighting his case, so now Vikram is preparing to file his own petition. His time behind bars has been spent studying law from a poorly stocked prison library. Indians in the United States, especially those in academia, are known to be treated with high esteem in their adopted homeland. Vikram Buddhi, however, has seen a different side of a society he thought was open, free and law-abiding, denied protection under freedom of speech laws, given inadequate legal representation and left to languish in prison for over three years, this PhD student's American dream has become a nightmare. In Chicago, Sarah Jacob, NDTV.